What's going on YouTube? My name is Adam with Breathe Forward and this is going to be the first video in a series I'd like to call Invest in Your Breath, which is a video series for everyone but mainly targeting my fellow investors who are kind of going on a fun little journey right now. If you're part of the party, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So, this is going to be a fun first video to start with because I am angry. I am very, very angry. <clears throat> so, you know what the deal is. You know what's going on. We're all watching certain uh, stonks go up. They only go up, of course. And I may or may not have gotten my stimulus check today. I don't know because I cannot access my bank, which is not the best feeling in the world when, uh, you know, you're planning on making a move in the market and you're being limited by these things. I'm not going to uh, name the names of the bank or anything like that, but the important thing is I'm very angry. I want to calm down. I'm going to calm down now and show you how I do it. And I'm going to describe the process in case anybody wants to calm down with me. What's the point of all this? <clears throat> well, we all talk about fighting FOMO. We all talk about not chasing when it's running up, about not investing with your emotions. How do we do that? Well, you have to gain the skill of calming down your emotions. How do you do that? You come to me and I teach you. All right. This may all seem very simple. But it is very important. Feel free to, you know, play along at home. What I'm going to do is first, I'm going to relax. What does relax mean? Well, it's the opposite of tension. All right. So first of all, I'm going to go through my body and going to release any unnecessary, unnecessary tension that I don't need. So first of all, I'm going to start with the jaw, the neck, and the shoulders. Because we live our technological environment, you know, we're all kind of like, like this on the computers all day long. You're always tensing your jaw. You're always tensing your shoulders. Check in with that area. Let that drop because you need to do some breathing and it's going to be hard for you to breathe through any of these areas if there's a lot of tension in there. Use your hands. Check in with your jaw. Check in right behind the jaw. Release that area. Use your hands to check in with the muscles because it will give you extra information about what's really, really tensed out. So you got to fight the computer neck. You got to fight the tension jaw. Let's also loosen up the wrists. I'm right-handed. My right hand is my mouse hand. And I got a lot of tension in there just from scrolling all day. So we're going to do a little wrist stretch, bringing it down, flipping it around, stretching it like that. Flipping it up, stretching like so. And back down, just stretching out the muscles of the hands, the muscles of the forearms. I highly recommend these, you know, little relaxation balls. I like to just kind of sit and twirl with these. That, that really helps to release the finger muscles, release the finger tension. Any tension in your body will inform the rest of the body. All right, so you've done a little bit of relaxation, relaxation, getting rid of some tension. A lot of what you need to focus on when you're trying to step out of a unpleasant emotional state and try to get back to a place of feeling calm and relaxed, a lot of what you need to focus on is just your breath. And there's a couple different areas of the breath that we never really examine. Um, so one of those areas of the breath is just the pathway. Like literally, how does the air come in and out of your body? There's only two options, your nose and your mouth. So however you're breathing now, however comfortable for you, just take a second and think to yourself, how am I breathing in through my body, through the nose or the mouth? How am I breathing out of my body, exhaling through the nose and the mouth? just to gain a little bit of information about what you're already doing. And just to make a small adjustment to that, when I want to calm down, what I'm going to do is I'm going to breathe in through my nose and out through my mouth. Just a small adjustment in through my nose and out through my mouth. 
So that is the pathway of the breath into the nose, out to the mouth. The second thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I'm not breathing high into my shoulders. I want to check in with the placement of the breath. I want to breathe low into my abdomen. So I'm just going to have my hands right down here, right around my belly button area. And as I breathe in through my nose, I want to make sure that I'm expanding the breath down here, not up here, because breathing up here will cause more tension. And again, we want to get rid of tension. Tension is not our ally when we are trying to relax. So I'm breathing in through the nose, nice and calm. Placing the breath low in the abdomen, out through the mouth. And then one more thing I'm going to focus on is the shape of the breath. So take a measurement of your inhale and your exhale. Notice if one is longer and see if you can allow them to be an even length. So I'm going to count my inhale. It's about four seconds. I'm going to allow my exhale to be about the same length. So again, I'm breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth, keeping my, allowing my breath to stay low, making sure it's not rising up and causing tension. And I'm allowing my inhale and exhale to be even length. Just breathing like this for a while, just allowing myself to calm down. The problem is still there. I still can't access my bank account. I'm still not happy about it. But if you just take a moment to just calm down, release some tension, actively focus on your breath, you can build a skill set of being able to access this kind of in the moment, maybe not instantly, but to be able to really be aware of when you're getting stirred up and be aware of your ability to step yourself back down. Uh, thank you very much for watching me in this video. I know this was kind of weird. I was really angry. I just needed to calm down and I wanted to show you guys how I do it. If this was of any interest to you, please hit the like button, subscribe, follow me for more. I will be pumping out more content just like this. And I do really want to help you fight the FOMO. Stop choosing emotional stonks. Work from your intellect and your research and not from your passion. And we're all going to be a lot happier and richer in the end. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.